Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Rapid Tank, which is a cartomizer tank, which I received from www.finvape.com, who, in case you haven't worked it out, are based in Finland. Before I start, though, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review. My opinion of the product remains true on this necro, as always. Okay, let's go straight ahead and show you in a bit more detail. Okay, so here we have the Rapid Tank, which is basically a cartomizer tank. This particular one is just a standard size using standard size bow cartomizers, but I believe they also have an XL version as well. So it looks like a pretty standard cartomizer tank. You've got your stainless steel end caps here and here. You then have a quartz glass tank, and as it's a glass tank, it should be fine with just about any e liquid you put in there. And the tank holds around four and a half millilitres of juice. There is one thing that makes this a little bit different though, and that is this sort of rubber bung that you can see here. And this is basically just a bung out of a cartomizer. And the idea is, is that when the tank runs dry and you want to fill it up, pull the bung out, put your needle in there, fill it up with juice, push this back into place, and that's it, you can start vaping again. So it's meant to be just like a quicker way of filling the tank up. Now it does work perfectly well. It does indeed allow you to fill the tank up nice and quickly. Uh, I've not had any sort of leaks or anything like that, but personally though, I'm not a big fan. And the main reason being is that, as you can hopefully see, it doesn't sort of sit all the way down nice and flush. So when you attach this to your device, quite often it's going to leave a big gap, and that gap does tend to come out a little bit lopsided as well. Now, in its defence, you do actually need a gap, because otherwise you're not going to have any sort of airflow, because there's no sort of air slots cut out of the base. So it does work, but uh, you are going to be left with quite an unsightly gap, and quite often that gap does appear a little bit uh, on the piss as well, unfortunately. Me personally, I'd much rather have just a, uh, a plain sort of end cap on either end, but maybe with like an air channel cut out. And when it comes to uh, refilling, you've just got to push the cartomizer down a little bit, fill it up with juice and slide it back up again. And as it's a 22 millimeter tank, it does sit really nicely on uh, your 22 millimeter mods. That's why me personally, I would like to be able to get it so it's sitting completely flush on the end now. Okay, so just for the benefit of any beginners who happen to be watching, I'll very quickly show you how to uh, get this all set up. Now when you get a brand new bow cartomizer, you're going to find a rubber bung fitted on either end. And when you take off the rubber bungs, in one of them you're going to find an additional piece which has a long sort of thin spike. And you want to keep hold of that part because you're going to use that as a plug to uh, block the filling hole on the rapid tank. Now as you can hopefully see, I've just placed the rubber bung inside the hole there, but part of it is actually covering the hole where the cartomizer is going to slide through. So what you need to do is just uh, take a pair of scissors and cut one end off flat. And then once that's done, it should look like this. Then to assemble the tank, you can just take the top cap and uh, push it in. And as you can see, the O-rings are sort of going to equip it there nicely and obviously prevent any leakage. They're not the tightest of O-rings, though. It is sort of fairly easy to uh, pull this out and push it in. But uh, you know, I've not had any sort of uh, problems with it leaking or coming apart or anything like that. And then you can just take the bottom cap and once again just push that into position. Okay, so here I have just a standard size bow cartomizer. And before I start to use it, there's three things I need to do beforehand. First thing is to remove the small rubber bung in the top, and that's done quite easily just by placing your finger now underneath it and prising it out. Next thing you need to do is puncture at least all two holes in the cartomizer to obviously allow e-liquid from the tank to transfer inside it. And the third thing you need to do is fill it up with e-liquid beforehand. Okay, so once the cartomizer has been pre-filled with some e-liquid and you've punctured a couple of holes, you can then uh, place it inside the rapid tank. And uh, the way I do it is I just uh, install the threaded end in first through the top and push it all the way down until it's seen completely flush at the top there. And then once the cartomizer is in place, you can either use a syringe or a, uh, a juice bottle with a sort of needle nozzle and fill the tank up. Just for speed, uh, I'm just going to be using a syringe here. And then once the tank is filled up with e-liquid, you can just take the rubber bung, insert it into the hole, push it down, 
Also, you just want to make sure that the side you cut off is going to be facing the cartomizer. And then finally, you can just attach it to whatever device you're going to be using. And as you can hopefully see, as you screw it on, it's going to push that uh, rubber bung into place nicely. And from there, you can just attach your drip tip and you're ready to have a nice vape. Okay, so that is the rapid tank. Let's go ahead, see what it vapes like. Okay, so that was the rapid tank, and what I'll do now is go ahead and show you an action. Now, just obviously uh, bear in mind that uh, the amount of vapor you see, if I talk about flavor, throw hit, or vapor reduction, it's got absolutely bugger all to do with the rapid tank. The tank, at the end of the day, is just a tank to hold uh, more e-liquid. So uh, performance is not going to be affected by the rapid tank whatsoever. Nevertheless, though, it's filled up with some 16 milligram strength tobacco flavoured e-liquid, which is a mixture of 80% PG, 20% VG. I'm using it on a Sigeli Z-Max telescopic V3, I think that's what it's called, which is currently set at 9 watts. So this is the, uh, the rapid tank, sort of. So as you can see, like plenty of vapour, but like I said, it's got nothing to do with the tank whatsoever. I could take that uh, cartomizer out of the tank, use it on its own, and you'll be seeing exactly the same amount of vapour production. So literally the tank is just a vessel to hold more liquid and to uh, allow you to use a cartomizer without having to sort of refill and top up every two seconds. So, uh, you know, in the sense of, is it a good cartomizer tank? Does it hold the liquid? You know, it does that job perfectly. I'll get straight on to the, um, probably the main sort of, topic of discussion which is going to be the rapid way of filling up the uh, up the tank with your juice now it does work perfectly it is that little bit quicker compared to having to uh, push the cartomizer down pour your e-liquid in and then push the cartomizer back up it is that little bit quicker as long as you've got something like a syringe or a bottle with one of those sort of uh, needle nozzles on the end of it um, i've not had any sort of leaking issues either so it is a little bit quicker to fill up the tank with juice not had any leakage problems whatsoever, so it's all sort of good things there. However, I'm just not a, a fan of it whatsoever. Um, I don't like the fact that you can't have the cartomizer tank sitting completely flush on the end of uh, your device. I don't like having gaps between my atomizers and my uh, devices or my cartomizer tanks and my devices. And with this, you don't have any choice because the actual piece of, uh, like the rubber bung, is a little bit wider or thicker than the actual slot that has been cut out. So every time you push it down so it's flush, it just boils straight back up again. It's almost like it's on a, a little uh, a little spring now. And uh, the other thing is, you can't have it sitting completely flush on the end anyway, because if you do, then you've got absolutely no airflow. So it's just uh, like trying to suck on your finger, basically. Um, me personally, I would much rather have just a plain end cap like that at both ends, uh, but maybe with like a, an air channel cut out it's, it is a little bit quicker to fill up with the rubber bung. Well, actually saying that, you know, like you've got to still, well, no, yeah, yeah, it is probably still a little bit. I was just about to say, you've still got to take it off, but then I suppose if you're doing it the other way, no, you wouldn't have to take it off, would you? You can just slide the cartomizer tank up. So it's probably not that much quicker thinking about it, but um, maybe a fraction, let's put it that way. But it's a different way of going about things. At least it's sort of trying to think outside the box and come up with a, come up with some new ideas, but um, for me personally, I'd much rather have just a, a plain end cap on either end, because it is a, a nice looking tank, and it's 22 millimeters wide as well, so it would go really nicely with something like the Diver or the Killer, and you can have that sitting on the end of your 22 millimeter mod, and have it sitting completely flush, and it would look really nice. Um, if it had a, an air sort of slot cut in the bottom as well, you could definitely have it sitting nice and completely flush. So um, in a sense of, does it work? Yes, it does, it works perfectly well. Is it rapid? Maybe not rapid, but maybe a, a touch quicker, as long as you've got a syringe or a bottle with a needle on the end of it. Um, do I prefer it over the conventional way of filling up the cartomizer tank? Uh, no, not so ever really. Um, just because for the main reason, you can't have it sitting completely flush on the end. And uh, I'll say it on, depends what sort of device you're using. Um, don't know why it depends, it must be the quality of the thread in itself, but sometimes it does actually end up sitting a little bit sort of um, a little bit pissed 
And I think it's where obviously you've got that rubber bung on one side and it's actually sticking out lower than the, uh, the base of the, the base of the base. Um, but, you know, the cartomizer tank, it does work. It does what it's, it says it's going to do. But um, I personally would prefer to have just a plain 22 millimeter cartomizer tank, exactly like this, but with the uh, exactly the same top cap on the, on the bottom as well as the top. You know, um, not a great deal else I can really tell you. Yeah, if you fancy trying one out for yourself, go along to www.finvape.com. Thank you very much for watching. Also, come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers, guys. Happy vaping. See you later.